Thank you for joining us today, and this will be part four of our teaching concerning Yahuwah being our righteousness. And uh, I'm going to read today from 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 12, and this is a very, very interesting verse. Uh, chapter, uh, chapter 12, verse 3 says, Wherefore I give unto you to understand that no man speaks by the Spirit or the Ruach of Yahuwah, calls Yahusha accursed, and that no man can say that Yahusha is Yahuwah, but by the Holy Ghost or by, but by the Ruach. And what this is, Paul is, or Shaol is talking about here in this verse, and um, the in the King James, actually, the English translation, of course, says, says it differently because it's inaccurate, because it's, it's been changed. But because we know that the word Lord has been a substitution for the, for the name of Yahuwah, and uh, also where it has in the English translation it uses the word Jesus, we know that the, the actual, the Savior's name is Yahusha. Uh, that was his original name. It's been changed in the English, by, in the English language to Jesus. Uh, and uh, so when you read this in, in, the, in the original text, it really is very powerful, and you begin, you can understand now why. Again, one of the things that it, that the name of Yahuwah is so important is to recognize that uh, because this all ties into what we've been sharing with that Yahuwah declared He was our salvation, and uh, Yahusha shows up and says that uh, claims that He is uh, He He's uh, Yahuwah. Actually, He says I. He says, I, he, had, he actually identifies himself with the Father in so many different times. He actually says that me and the Father are one. One translation says me and the Father are the same. He actually says, if you've seen me, told this to Philip. He said, if you've seen me, Philip, you've seen the Father. And, um, and right here, he actually says here that no man can say that Yahusha is Yahuwah, but by the Holy Ghost. The English translation here out of the King James says, no one can say that Jesus is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost. And that, that's inaccurate. That's not what it said. It's actually saying that Yahusha is Yahuwah. No one can say that unless they have the Ruach. And the reason that, that Paul said that, because he knew, he knew that in his day, that how the, his, the, the Jewish people, the Yehud, Yehudim, uh, they, they, they had such... Uh, acknowledgement or let's put it this way for for someone to declare that the that Yahusha was Yahuwah it would have taken uh, the spirit the Ruach to reveal that to that person for them to, to know that and to be able to to declare that you remember when uh, when uh, the Messiah Yahusha said to uh, Peter he said uh, uh, or Kepha, he said to him, he said, Who do you say that I am? And then Kepha answered and said, Thou art the Christ, or thou art the Mashiach, the son of the living Yahuwah. And Yahushua said to him, he said, that, that man didn't reveal that to him, but my Father, which is in heaven, revealed that to him. And that was by the Spirit that it was revealed to him. So I want you to just see here this, that, that, that it's by the Ruach, that we actually um, are able to declare that Yahusha is Yahuwah because it is by revelation and understanding that we know that. <laughs> and you ought to consider yourself blessed if you know that. If you know that Yahusha is Yahuwah, then you have, that's been revealed to you by the Ruach, by the, by the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Then if you go down to uh, verse 13 of the same chapter, um, and before I read this verse here, I want to mention this to you. You know, I, I, we've covered the fact is that Yahushua stated in the Gospel of John, chapter three, that a man must be born again. When he was talking to Nicodemus, he said, "That which is born of the flesh is flesh, but that which is born of the spirit is spirit." He said, "Marvel not that I say unto you, you must be born again, or born from above." Now, he didn't suggest that. He didn't say that's a good idea. He said a man must be born again to enter the kingdom of Yahuwah. And it's by that spirit of Yahuwah coming into us, coming into our hearts, making us new creatures in Mashiach, 
that we're born of his of his spirit of his nature we become partakers of the divine nature as second peter chapter 1 verse 3 and 4 declares that we have become partakers of the divine that means yahuwah's nature of his nature that we become partakers of that hallelujah and this here this verse i'm about to read to you bears this out as well verse 13 of that same chapter says for by one spirit or by one ruach are we all baptized into one body whether we be Jews or Gentiles, whether we be bond or free, whether we, we've all been made to drink into one spirit. Hallelujah. That one spirit, that, may, that makes us, that has, that's connected us to our Father, that makes us one with our Father. Hallelujah. The spirit of Yahuwah coming into us and uh, changing our nature, giving us of His spirit. That's why we have been made, all been made, every one of us, whether you're Jew or Gentile, whether you're bond or free, doesn't matter. All of us together, if you're, if you're born from above, you've been made to drink into one spirit, and that spirit abides on the inside of you. Hallelujah. That's what causes you and I to, be, to pass from death unto life. That's what causes us to come, come out of darkness into the light. Hallelujah. That's why we can see, and that's why the scriptures can be unfolded to us. I remember before I received the Ruach that I could read the scriptures and I couldn't understand them, and it was the scriptures seemed to be boring to me. I could not understand anything. But after the Ruach, the Holy Spirit came into me, then I could understand the scriptures, and, and, and the, the Spirit began to reveal the truth of His Word to me. And same thing, Yahushua said that. He said the, the Ruach would show you things to come. He would guide us into all truth, he said. Hallelujah. And he's done that. He's doing that. I want to go, before we uh, finish today, I want to read another verse over in the book of Ephesians, chapter 2. And this is Paul writing in, uh, in, in, in verse 18. He says, for through him, he's talking about through Mashiach, He's talking about, if you read this whole chapter in context, and I just don't have time to do that, but he's talking about the Mashiach, and he says, For through him, we both, we, and he's talking about the Jew and the Gentile here in this chapter here, he's talking about Jews and Gentiles, we both have access by one Spirit unto the Father. Hallelujah. We have access to the Father through one Spirit, and that Spirit being the, the Spirit of Mashiach. Over in Romans chapter, I believe it's chapter 8, says, If any man have not the spirit of Mashiach, he is none of his. his. The spirit of Mashiach coming into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father, is what causes us to pass from death unto life. It's what causes us to now to be able to say, Abba, Father, hallelujah. Paul wrote in Galatians chapter 4, and if you be sons, if you be uh, Mashiach, then are you sons of Yahuwah. Hallelujah. And we cry, Abba, Father. Hallelujah. And it's through our, not, our, not our self effort, it's not our own works that causes this to happen. It's simply believing the gospel, acknowledging Yahusha is Yahuwah as our salvation, and believing that. And that, that we can be born from above and born of the Spirit of Yahuwah. And we can be partakers of His divine nature. Hallelujah. And then this gives us really the ability to, to walk out, you know, walk to walk free from sin. This gives us a license to sin. We, in fact, if, if, if any man, you know, thinks that this, caught, this allows you just to live any way you want to, this is, that's totally inaccurate. That's totally not what the, the scriptures teaches, and that's not, not that's not what Paul taught either. He taught that that uh, that even so, we should we 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 because we should really walk very circumspectly. We should be very careful in our walk with Yahuwah. He's given he's he's allowed us to to partake of His Spirit, and we're waiting. The Bible says the Scripture says that we're waiting for the adoption to be complete, the redemption of our body. The tendency to sit still sin, the tendency to still to fall and to be fallen is in this physical body that we still live in. But we're waiting for the adoption to be complete when this, even this natural body will be changed from mortal to immortal, hallelujah, and that it will no longer have the, the urges to rebel 
and, and to do the things that it would naturally do because of, of its fallen state. But on the inside, hallelujah, you're a new creature in Mashiach. If you have believed the gospel, you're a new creature in him. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things, Paul said, have become new. All things in the realm of the Spirit are now new. Hallelujah. You're a new creature in Mashiach. Hallelujah. See, if you could look at yourself on the inside, you'd see a whole different person that lives there. That person being the real you. Hallelujah. And this flesh that we still live in, it's in its fallen state, but on the inside, you are a new creature in Mashiach. Thank you for joining us today, and we'll pick this back up in our next session. And I thank you for joining us. Thank you.